It's the weekend, folks. Welcome to Hire It Done. My name's Adam Healthman on 971 The Ticket. Great Saturday morning. Lots of stuff on the schedule today. The Buy Michigan Now Festival is all weekend. Uh, super busy last night. Lots of great feedback. I'll be there today. In fact, we'll be talking to Lisa Diggs soon. She's the uh, founder and she runs the whole gig. So we'll be hearing more information about that. But thank you for tuning into the show. My name's Adam Healthman, and this is a home improvement show. That's right, folks. It's the number one home improvement show, the fastest growing home improvement show in America. And uh, we're having a good time here. So want to make sure that you keep it locked in because we appreciate you listening. This is all about home improvement. Everything, how to fix, repair, or remodel, everything within the four corners of your lot. But here's the best part. It's not a do-it-yourself show, but I'm not anti-do-it-yourself. I'm just pro-do-it-for-me. So want to get that out of the way. But I got great home improvement advice today. We've got an electrician coming on, Josh uh, Young from Voltron Power. We're going to talk about ge generators for your house. How to do an electrical tune-up in your house, right? You know, is it a do-it-yourself project? We're going to figure out how not to get shocked. I've got uh, Kangaroof here because uh, they hop to it. We've got some good stuff going on with them. And, of course, joining me on the uh, phone lines right now is Lisa Diggs, the founder of Buy Michigan Now. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Adam. How are you? I'm so good. I don't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> me too. Yeah, but I, uh, I got to tell you, the reports coming out of the Buy Michigan Now Festival from yesterday are rock solid 10 out of 10. What did you do this year to get that place rocking? Well, you know, it is our 10th year. We, we should be getting pretty good at it by now, I hope. And, uh, yeah, we had a great time. The weather helps an awful lot. It's supposed to be spectacular all weekend. So that's, that's a big bonus for all of us. Well, I got to be honest with you. I'm excited because I'm going to be there today. And uh, why don't we tell the listening audience right now all about the Buy Michigan Now Festival, where it's at, what time you open, and how much left of the weekend do we have? All right, so it is in downtown Northville. We close off about five city blocks. For anybody familiar with the town, it goes from Hutton Street to Wing Street on Main, and then we go down Center Street and Wing Street. So plenty of space to walk around in, and if you have any challenges walking around, we've got Omega Mobility out here. You can rent yourself a little scooter to make your way through it. Uh, we open up at 10 o'clock today, and we run until 8 p.m. tonight as far as vendors go. We've got a beverage garden that will stay open until 10 serving up fine Michigan wines and beers and ciders. Um, and then tomorrow we are noon to 5. That's or 10 to 5. Sorry, 10 a.m. to 5. Noon to 5 for the beverage garden. Perfect, perfect. So you take over five city blocks in downtown North. There's plenty of parking. Uh, yeah, there's parking all over town, and the event is free and the parking is free because the whole idea is to fill the streets with these Michigan-based businesses help them grow by having people come and spend their money with them. So we don't want them to spend any money to get in or to park. We want them to spend it with the vendors. That's awesome. And so that's that's a really nice thing. So can you give me a couple of the names of some of the vendors or what, what you can expect to see here? I mean, uh, we you and I have talked before about the foodie that you are. I'm, right now I'm looking at the UP Pasty Company. Yummy. Um, for people that, yes, exactly. So there's, uh, you know, there's a lot of delicious uh Foods that are being not only prepared for you to eat on site, but a lot of great uh, Scotty O'Hotties out here, um, who's one of the fastest growing brands of hot sauces. There's all kinds of, and now they have a salsa line. There's all kinds of um, food companies that you can taste their stuff by it and then ask your grocery store to start carrying it. There are a lot of companies doing uh, things for your home, uh, home furnishings and signage and furniture and things like that. So everything um, Michigan. Improvement. What's that? Everything Michigan. Yeah, uh, it's, it's really cool. I mean, every time you think you know all the products that we're going to make, somebody comes along, like a company called Kitchen Dog, who's here this year, who makes dog bowls with backsplashes that you can attach to a wall. So if your dog is arthritic, they have an easier time eating. Oh, I like that. That's yeah. awesome. So it's there's also... Idea. It's one of those ones that you say, really? That was the thing? And now it is. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Yeah, I, I love those kind of... I'm a sucker for all those things. So I can't wait because I like all the food. And, of course, you also have a silent auction going on, right? We do have a silent auction going on. We, we have some – we have a signed uh, Gordie Howe jersey, framed incredible piece of memorabilia that, you know, at this point is 
pretty hard to come by things like that. We've got a lot of sports. We've got a, a, a lot of sports memorabilia, some uh, an autographed football from the Lions, and uh, a few other items uh, um, uh, like that. We've also got some a beautiful leather bag from a company called Pingree Detroit. They are they employ military vets in Detroit making products, actual real products made from leather, and uh, and so they're with us now, which is really cool. That's great. That's great. So it's five city blocks downtown Northfield. Opens at ten a.m. today. Did you say? 10 a.m. It goes to what time tonight? Tonight, the vendors are open till 8. The beverage garden is open till 10. So 10 a.m. to 8 with the vendors, and then the beverage garden till 10 p.m., and then tomorrow, 10 a.m. to 5. Correct. I'm loving it. And if more information, folks, go to buymichigannow.com. Lisa Diggs, the founder. You're in your 10th year. Congratulations, by the way. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And you're going to be there all day, right? Oh, I wouldn't miss it. All right, well... <laughs> I'm going there right from the radio show, so I'm excited. I'll be hanging out all day, and I'll be sampling all the food. Absolutely. (laughs) All right, Lisa, thanks for calling in. I appreciate it, and I'll see you later today. All right, thanks, Adam. Take care. So that was it. Lisa Diggs, Buy Michigan Now. It's buymichigannow.com. Hire Dunn has a booth. We've got uh, Fent Brick Pavers is part of our booth. Uh, Hard Rock Stoneworks has some uh, Michigan... Uh, map, you know, like little Michigan granite pieces that look like the state of Michigan, which are kind of cool. And we got the uh, Infusion Kitchen and Bath gave us some uh, really cool plumbing stuff to look at. So you come by our booth. And of course, if you want to kill me, I'll be there. Just come see me. <laughs> I'm, I'm fast, so don't worry. Anyways, can't wait to see you. But anyways, folks, it's home improvement season. Let me tell you right now, the business is booming. It's never been better. And the biggest complaint all my contractors have is labor. Everybody's hiring. Everybody needs good labor. But it's not hard. It's not easy to find good labor. But I got to be honest with you. If you have a kid who's not made for college or doesn't like college, if you've got a mid-career change that you want to do, let me say this. To become an electrician, to become a plumber, to become a roofer, to become sales and home improvement, to work in home improvement, kitchen designs, Whatever it is, the money is great, okay? This isn't fast food money. Trust me when I tell you. Obviously, the contractors all need you to have a valid driver's license because you got to have transportation to get from the jobs. And you got to pass a drug test. So that's what we're looking for. And if you want to work hard, we'll get you a job, folks. That's how we roll here at Hire Done. We want to find you work. Plus, my contractors are all qualified contractors. Remember, we pre-screen the contractors at Hire It Done. They have a 10-point pre-screening process. And, of course, you can go to HireItDone.com to get that process, folks. All right, folks, coming up next, Kanga Roof. They're going to hop to it and figure out how to get a roof that doesn't leak. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to Hire It Done on 97.1 The Ticket. Welcome back, folks. This is Hired Dunn. My name's Adam Helfman. You're listening to 97.1 The Ticket. Great Saturday morning. Don't forget the Buy Michigan Now Festival in Northville all day long, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then the beer garden is open till 10 after that. I'll be there today, so come out. Come see us. Learn more about Hired Dunn in person. We're looking for great contractors, and we're always looking to meet great homeowners. So I'm going to be having some fun today. But, of course, Hire It Done is the single source here in Metro Detroit for local pre-screened contractors who know what they're doing. And uh, what we do here at Hire It Done is we find the contractors and we share them with you. Uh, We want homeowners to have a hassle-free home improvement. And, of course, we use radio, TV, media to get the word out so that homeowners have a hassle-free home improvement. That's what it's all about. It's pretty simple. Keep it that way. But each week, we bring on the radio show, one of our star contractors, and we like to promote them so that the homeowners who are looking to do something around their house, they have a more comfortable feeling. They have more of a you know, comfort zone so that they don't feel like some guy's coming over there to take their money. So joining me on the Hired Done Radio Show right now is Bill Burkhart, Jr., from Kanga Roof. Good morning, Bill. Morning, Adam. How are you, my friend? I'm doing awesome. How about you? I can't complain. You know, I haven't, I, here's what I say. I haven't missed any meals. <laughs> I'm right there with you. It's right? my size of tests. It's okay. But I'm a foodie. So, you know, listen, home improvement is my expertise. 
food is my passion. I'm right there with you. It's not a bad combination, to be honest. You know, if you watch TV, little, little, it's kind of weird, but it's strange. But at the same time, it's interesting. Here's a fact. The two number one uh, most watched cable channels, Home Improvement and Food. I live in both lives. Like, I might be, you know, uh, schizophrenic. Like, half of me is like the food guy, and the other half of me the Home Improvement guy. I'm right there with you. Food Network's always on my on my TV when I get home. Right. I do I do home improvement all day. I want to unwind when I get home. Yeah, I'm addicted to food, but let's talk about home improvement for a second. So you watch HGTV like every other homeowner once in a while. Absolutely. Do you believe in a half hour they can re, they can remodel a whole house? Oh my gosh, it, it's killing the industry because people want it like now. they see Chip and Joanna Gaines and they go, okay, I want it just like that. Right. So I always c thought we could do a show called The Reality of reality TV, or what's that really cost? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they lie. Oh, my gosh. And, you... folks, I just want you to know, you can't remodel a bathroom in a in a half-hour show. You just can't. And I think Google actually ruined the home improvement business. And I'll explain to you why. When you go on Google and you type in, you know, uh, whatever it is, the answer comes up immediately, right? You can't Google a bathroom model or a new roof and have it done immediately. No, 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 so no. So society's been conditioned to get things now. I want my food now. I want my answer now. Oh, yeah. I want Amazon to ship my clothes now. Mm -hmm. I want my room edition now. Uh-uh. Well, that's why we hop to it. So they get that's it now. Exactly. <laughs> so let's talk about Kangaroo. How long have you guys been around now? Uh, 13 years. This is our 13th year. Lucky 13. Oh, yeah. See, 13's a lucky number for me. Why is that? Because I'm the Hebrew hammer. <laughs> well, there you go. All Jews, you know, we're 13 is a lucky number, so that's why we get that. All right. So how's the roofing business this year? Oh, it's been awesome. Absolutely Busy, right? awesome. We have been slammed uh, since uh, as soon as the weather broke, really, and we're still – booked up about three weeks out right now. So it's been uh, a really, really busy year, which well, is great. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, and so being busy obviously means that you must know what you're, you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when homeowners call you, where are you getting the source of business from? Uh, well, we get a ton from Hire It Done, which is always great. But Thank we get you. a ton from Google, uh, and we get a ton just from word of mouth. Referrals. Word of mouth is the best one for us, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting. We have a lot of good roofers on Hire It Done. And, and, and I think... Let me ask you a statistical question. You can answer however you want. If you go on 10 appointments, and you sell roofs, right? Yeah, I'm the, the, that's the cool part. I'm the one they meet with. So when you Even hear better. me, I'm going out to three appointments Love this that. afternoon. Okay, so you got 10 homeowners. Yep. Okay. Of the 10, how many of them are getting other prices? Oh, at least, I'd say eight to nine. Right. Because common sense says for a homeowner, and plus being propagandized over the years since the 50s, Get three bids, get three bids, get four bids, get this bids. Folks, if you're getting any nine bids, don't come to hire a ton. But if you want three or four great estimates, come to us. So my question to you is, wouldn't you rather compete with a contractor who understands how to install a shingle through a manufacturer's process so that the homeowner gets the best warranty? Oh, absolutely. As opposed to like they got the they took it off the corkboard at the big box store and they said, Oh, this guy does roofing. Yeah. Let's get a price from him. Johnny's roofing out there or whatever. Hopefully there's not a Johnny's roofer out there. Well, you but know, FBN, we call him fly by night roofing. You got it. You got it. well, I tell you, I'm going out this afternoon to meet with it's a hire it done lead. I met with them yesterday. They have some nuances on their ventilation. Okay. And everyone else he goes, Can't you give me the quote right now? I said, I really can't because you got some unique problems here, and I want to make sure I provide you an actual solution with real numbers. I mean, I could shoot from the hip, but don't you want me to actually give you the right answer? And the homeowner's like, yeah. And he goes, I didn't have no idea. No one else has ever talked to me about that. And, and that's what the best thing about having a choice. See, how all the roofers on Hire It Done, and for everyone out there listening, all of them, in order to be part of Hire It Done, you have to be certified by the manufacturer. And so, Kanga, you're certified by? Certainty. Certainty, yep. which is perfect. And so we just recently went to Harsons Island together. Yes, we did. And we saw this roof that you were taking off that was only, uh, how on, old was it? On the garage, it was less than a year old. So, on the home, it was seven. Okay, so yeah, seven-year roof on the house. And it's a beautiful house on Har Harsons oh, yeah. Island, custom home. And then the the actual garage part of it had the roof less than a year. Yep. So what happened? Why did why is this guy replacing the roof seven years later and a year later? When the you know, tell me what happened. Yeah, a couple things out there. So, uh, what happened is 
whoever put the previous roof on, and I, we don't know who it was, so whoever it was, went out there, did what a lot of people do, tried to sell the cheapest possible shingle, used the cheapest possible underlayments and drip edge, and never touched the ventilation. And this gentleman goes down to Arizona every year, and when he comes back, every year he goes, I'd come back and I have shingles hanging off my roof. How do I solve the problem? So we went out there, dressed everything, got it ventilated right so it finally breathes for the first time properly, went to the SBS, that extreme storm with the Northgate SBS shingle, full ice and water shield underlayment, the five-star warranty from uh, Certainty, and the 20-year bumper-to-bumper protection from us. And now he gets to go, hey, every year, I got nothing to worry about now. So now it's complete hassle. You got it. And so one of the things that uh, earlier in this conversation that you brought up that I want everyone um, is to know is that you said we salute with the homeowner that you're going back today. You're giving him a solution. Bingo. So that's a big key word for me. You know, we talk about how contractors who are solution minded here. And that's important because homeowners don't know. Listen, they get a roof leak. They think it's just a leak. Maybe in the very dark corners in the back of their mind, there's like the one little voice that says, hey, you're going to need a new roof, right? Mm -hmm. Or the other side says, oh, please, just be a leak. Just be an easy fix. I can't afford a new roof right now, Mm -hmm. right? So the tendency is they're freaking out. Homeowners' number one fear is that they're going to get overcharged or ripped off. Yep. So isn't it make sense when you come out there that you just explain it to them in very easy terms? Here's Here's what's wrong with your roof. Here's our solutions, and here's what we can do about it. That's it, You know what? That's exactly how we go about it. We do an exterior inspection. We get to inspect the roof, then up on top, get in the attic. And what I tell the homeowners is, I don't know you. I don't know your plan, but I'm going to provide you all the solutions, all the options, and you're going to tell me what makes the most sense. Now, you're one of the few roofers around who actually warranties repairs. Mm-hmm. That's interesting because a lot of contractors won't do that. And I'm 50-50 on it right now because, you know, a repair is – you know, it's hard to assess sometimes when you don't have x-ray vision, Yep. but you guys have a pretty clear-cut way of doing it. Oh, yeah. So basically what we do is, and we have an unbelievable, we got a 10-man service team, which is all they do is repairs all day, every day. They're going out, they're fixing other people's mess-ups, quite sure. frankly. But with the repairs, you got a one-year guarantee leak-free. If that same spot ever leaks again from that issue, we come back out, we hop back to it. Boom. We get there, we make it right for them. And that's, that's really good. We're talking with Bill Burkhart Jr. Uh, he's the vice president of Kanga Roof. The website is www.kanga-roof.com. And then, folks, if you want to call him today, um, the number is 586-566-0308. You got it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, Bill, uh, you know, I haven't talked about it in years, but it's time. I think it's smart to bring it up right now. The distributors of the shingles mm-hmm. and you guys go out are you wimsat uh predominantly yeah, yeah wimsat's the best yep. in my opinion they're like you know for distribution uh they're great they're local they're michigan they're, they're like family. my guys you yeah. got it shout out to wimsat anyways but the manufacturers are raising raising prices yep so that flows downhill basically mm-hmm. through the distribution who then sends you the letter how many right price increases this year we've had five already and we have, and, and actually, it's Wims had a big testament to them and Cole over there. What we did is we actually negotiated. So this fifth one that just kicked in, we locked in the pre-price increase pricing for the next sixty days. Smart. Uh, All right, we're gonna take a break, and I yeah. want to talk more about that. So for folks, if you want to get a roof and you want to save money and beat the price increase, I'm gonna tell you, give you some tips when we come back on how to do that. I'm Adam Healthman. You're listening to Hire It Done on 97 won The Ticket. Welcome back, folks. This is Hire It Done. My name's Adam Helfman. In studio with me, Bill Burkhart Jr. from Kangaroo. They have one of the best taglines. They hop to it. I kind of love that. Kangaroo, they hop to it. You know it. So you guys uh, are certainteed, mm-hmm. uh, certified by the manufacturer. So what does it mean for certification? Tell me, like, your version of what that means. Yeah. It, well, it's a great question, too, because in layman's terms, what you got to do is you got to go through, it's a whole training course and certification from the manufacturer. And it's not just like me or my dad or my brother, Matt, who's got to do it. The guys on the crew have to do it. And what it allows you to do then is offer the upgraded warranties because that standard limited lifetime warranty that every single shingle comes with isn't worth really anything because it doesn't cover normal wear and tear. 
once you get up into those four star and the five star where you're certifying and, and warranting the entire shingle system and then with the five star the system and the craftsmanship for 50 years it's unbelievable with full so, replacement costs so when you say the 50 years are we talking the best of the roof because that, that now you know they used to say the metal roofs mm -hmm. were the 50-year roof but today an sbs which is a, a, a like a modified shingle yep. polymer modified or whatever that is mm -hmm. the sbs is the top of the line shingle yep and you do that properly and it's just more than the shingle now it's mm -hmm. the underlayment the intake the exhaust all that right you got it okay so that gets you 50 years I, the manufacturer tells you you get 50 years. Here in Michigan, what I, I set the expectation for a homeowner, you do that Northgate SBS Extreme Storm System, I tell homeowners, expect somewhere between 35 to maybe just over 40 years, which the average roof in Michigan lasts about 17. So they're getting unbelievable value. Okay. And when you look at a metal roof that's going to go 50 or 60 years with that Northgate Extreme with the SBS, you can get 85 90% of the lifespan of a metal roof at half the cost yeah well metal roofs are uh, insane insanely expensive i think it's like three to four times the cost oh but yeah yeah and you know listen they're not against metal roofs i like them you know um but again you're limited so for us the majority of the people want an asphalt shingle yep and so when you say sbs and all that what is the what, what does that help you do here in michigan well that when you use that Northgate sbs shingle that rubberized compound in it it does a couple things it's the it provides better retention on the granules the elasticity of the actual shingle itself and quite frankly in the really hot summer months and then which is going to be here before we know it in january and february where it's 10 degrees outside instead of getting so brittle like every other shingle out there it actually maintains its elasticity so if something were to fall on it you have an icicle fall from your second story to your lower story it's not going to crack the shingle it's actually designed okay. to take that kind of abuse. So the, it's got some rubber. It's got some cushion. I guess. You got it. So that's how. Okay. So it, you're a certain guy, but what's the best shingle? As far as what's the best manufacturer? No, the best shingle in your opinion at all. Oh, I think it is the Northgate SBS. If I'm doing it on my home, I'm putting the Northgate SBS. I'm not even blinking an eye. And that's by certainty. That's by certainty. Okay. Because so you know, and the really reason why I'm asking, and I'm not you know trying to knock the other ones, because yeah, you know, listen, you could take. Your shingle, the Northgate SBS, right? Mm -hmm. And you have the wrong guy install it. It's worthless. Oh, yeah. Do we agree with that? Totally. That's why, folks, if you're thinking about getting a roof and you want one that's not going to, it could be the last roof you ever buy, mm -hmm. you, do, you, you should ask your roofers, whoever you get prices from, including Kanga, I want one that's, you know, the manufacturer stands behind. And the only way they stand behind is if they, find the contractor who is certified and done the training. And what I like about what you just said is your installers actually are trained as well. You got it. That's kind of cool. So, you know, we talked about the price increase. Um, and it's just, you know, inflation, the way things are, costs are going up. To beat the increase, you actually, so when you, you, you negotiate with Wimsat, you go to them and say, all right, listen, you're our supplier. We want to be certainty. They sell a ton of certainty amongst other shingles. Mm -hmm. And you have a long relationship with them. Oh, yeah. So they say to you, okay, here's the deal. For this year, we're going to, you know, lock you in at this price. And then if prices go up, we'll notify you, you know, because they haven't, you know, they try and lock it in too. But that's, you know, again, it flows downhill. So you've gotten how many price creases this year? Five. Five. Wow. And there's one more coming even after this one. Okay. So it's in the, it's in the plans. Yep. So when you go to a homeowner and they're thinking about a roof, this is an incentive right now. You've been able to lock the prices in so it doesn't go up. Huge, huge. And, and the reason we did it, A, we have the long-standing relationship with Wimsat. Last time we were here, we kicked off the Hired Done Special where it's $750 off the roof with half off the gutters, half off the gutter guards. And when we went to Wimsat, because we've been buying in such bulk and we've been selling so many, to to be able to maintain that incentive for the Hired Done, we actually locked in the pricing for the next 60 days. But after 60 days, it it there's no... <laughs> No yeah, doubt it it's up. going up. You got it. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So if you guys, if anyone out there wants to get a, it's free estimates, right? Yep. Just give Kanga Roof a call at 586-566-0308. Uh, Bill Burkhardt Jr. will actually be the guy coming out. I will be there. Which I'll is be awesome. hopping to it for him. You can't be late on appointments, by the way. Um, let me tell you, <laughs> if I'm not 10 minutes early, I'm late. That's that's my dad's expectation. If you're on time, you're late. Well, who you, who, who's the famous guy who said that? Was it Winston Churchill? I think it was Churchill or maybe even Patton, one of them. One General of those Patton, guys. right? Yep. I'm a fan of Mattis. Oh, Mad Dog go. Mattis. 
There's Anyways, no messing around there. No, we can't. We can't. So um, that's awesome. What other work does Kangaroo do? Well, that's a nice thing. We really are exterior renovation specialists. So it's not just your roofing, but it's your gutters, your windows, your doors, siding, and even the insulation. Because as much as we love the summertime months right now when that AC is running, fall and winter is going to be here before we know it. And you want to talk about the single quickest way to save money, get your house insulated and ventilated right? properly. So, so and, and let me ask you this. The evolution of the roofing business. Yeah. How important is insulation to a roof today? Oh, we, we talk about it all the time, especially when we talk about radiant barrier insulation. It's a system. Your roof, your attic space, the ventilation, it all works together as a system. If you got to break down at one point, you know, if you're not insulated properly, if you're not ventilated properly, guess what? You're not going to get the lifespan you want and expect out of the shingles. But that's why, like, when I go out to home, I get my head up there. I get up in the attic space every time, and I bring it up to the homeowners. Like I, we talk about, I'm going to present them with everything. They're going to tell me what they want to do and what makes sense. Smart, smart. And there you have it, folks. You have to understand that a roof today is more than shingles. It's the intake. It's the exhaust. It's the insulation. Those are three components right there that make or break a roof as well. Oh, absolutely. And here's the other thing. When you blow insulation in an attic, folks, you have to make sure that it's evenly distributed and that it does not plug the soffit vents. You got that. We've run across it so many times, It's and I feel for the homeowners because then you're getting rotten decking, you're getting rotten joists, which your $10,000 roof just became 15, came 16 because they tried to do the right yeah. thing, and you know they didn't pay attention to the details. No one wants that headache. Yep. No, I get it. I totally get it. Well, that's cool. So if someone calls you, um, and get you out for an estimate. Can you get this week? Can you get there this week? I, if they call today, I'm pretty sure I got one or two slots open. Okay, but, so I mean, we're now. already booking out just for a, the the and Just an estimate, yeah. Two weeks. And how long when you come out to an estimate? How long are you, are you at the house for you? About 90 minutes. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. All right, well, that's cool. Um, so if the homeowner says, yeah, I want the roof, now when you schedule the install, yep. are we two weeks, four weeks, six weeks out? About three weeks. Depending on crazy weather. You got, now here's the kid, the the thing. Everyone right now is sitting there. They got their kids home. They're on vacation. They don't want to do it. And we're three weeks out right now. Right. Come September. And I have, I think, three jobs scheduled on September 1 already. Yeah. After school, the kids go back to school. Everyone if you wants wait until after Labor Day, you're going to suddenly jump to five, six, seven weeks just because everyone gets slammed. But, now is the time. Let me ask you this, though. What if the homeowner calls you and says, I don't want my roof right away, but I want to lock in the price? Can, and they say, listen, I'm flexible. I want it done before winter. Can you help? Can you work with them on that? For the next 60 days, as long as they take delivery within the next 60 days, we can do that. Okay, that's awesome. I didn't know. You have to take delivery. Meaning. Yes. You got to okay. sign and take delivery within the next 60 days. All but right. that puts you to the end of September. So you got now, time. Now, when you do delivery, does your shingles put on the roof usually? Yeah. Depending on the pitch. Yep, absolutely. Well, and when we meet with the homeowner, one of the things I do, it's a pre job checklist, dot our I's, cross our T's. I ask them, hey, this is where they're going to go. If for some reason they can't be put on the roof, where do you want them? Because I don't want to to mess up the petunias in the front yard or put them on a freshly poured Crazy. concrete. Yeah. You got it. So what about financing? You know, the average roof today is over ten grand. Yep. Not everyone could just stroke a check. Oh, yeah, here is a check for 10000 Let me know when you're ready. No. Financing. Do you offer it? Absolutely. And how easy is it to get financing on a roof? It takes about two minutes with my cell phone. So you can do it through your smartphone? Yeah. When I'm with the homeowner right then and there, I can do it for them. We do 12 months, same as cash. There's a five-year low uh, low interest. There's a, a seven-year, and there's a 10-year even. So. so there's all kinds of options for homeowners. Absolutely. If somebody wants to get up to that north gate and they can't quite do it right now, but they're going to be in that house for the next 30 years, use the 10-year low payment because okay. it's going to pay for itself. So if, so if they want a roof for 300 bucks a month, they can probably get it. Oh, absolutely. I love it. Can you imagine this? Time flies. It's too, too quick. Bill Burkhardt Jr., kangaroo, folks. They hop to it. Thanks for coming in today. Hey, thanks, Adam. Appreciate it. I'm Adam Helfman. We'll be right back. Welcome back, folks. This is Hire It Done. My name's Adam Helfman. You're listening to 97.1 The Ticket. A lot of times we talk about on Hire It Done, things in your house you shouldn't do yourself. Like we have DIY versus HID, right? Hire it done versus do it yourself. Well, roofing clearly is one of those not to do it yourself things. But what else are there? What other items do you have around your house that literally you shouldn't be doing yourself? So joining me in the Hire It Done studio is Josh Young from Voltron Power. Good morning. Good morning, Adam. How are you doing? 
I am so good. I don't even know what to do with myself today. <laughs> Thanks Beautiful for coming. Day out. Out. Yeah, yeah isn't it great, right? Pardon me? It's great out. It sure is. It's picture perfect. It's going to be a heck of a day. So, Josh, tell everyone what you do. I'm a master electrician. Primarily, we do residential work uh, anywhere from standby generators, add and recess lights, surge protection, you know, and even service calls where you, if something's not working, we come in and we'll fix it. So, electrical work, obviously, is what I always tell people. It's not something you want to do yourself. Definitely not. So there's, there's, you know, when you have a plug, let's just give everyone the basics of electrical. You have a hot, a ground. And a what, neutral. So what color are they? The hot's usually black, the neutral's white, and the ground is either green or an uninsulated copper. Okay. Which one are you not supposed to touch? The black, the hot, the hot wire for so sure. So never touch the black one. If you're, gr if you're not grounded, you can, but I don't recommend even tinkering with your wiring. And don't hire a handyman or anything like that or your uncle or your dad. Just call the pros. The black wire, folks, is the one that sends the shock waves, in case everyone wants to know. But it could be other colors as well. But in your standard home wiring, yes, it's the black wire. Because, you know, listen, you go to Home Depot or a big box store, and you want to buy the new flat plug that's really cool. Oh, yeah, the Decora. Yeah. You pull out the old one, yeah. and you're touching these wires. You, you can touch the black wire, the black part of it, but not the wire part. Right, not the copper. Now, what... I. I like, I, I can't even fathom this because, you know, for me, from the neck down, right. worth minimum. Worthless. Weight. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Worthless. So when should someone call an electrician? When they want to upgrade their plugs? Anytime. Don't ever touch your electrical system. Fire hazard. You're, you're not a pro. Right. You don't have the proper experience. Even if you know what wires to connect where, there's proper connection techniques that you need to make because the connections of the wires are of utmost importance to prevent shocks. So those connectors wires. that you twist, what are wire they called? Nuts. Wire nuts. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes, Sometimes you, don't. you don't. Okay. <laughs> so you got the wire nuts. Um, my point, my question is, is like I'm thinking of uh, projects that come through higher return. Oh, I got a brand new ceiling fan with yeah. lights, and for some reason the fan's spinning the wrong way and it's humming, <laughs> and the light we can't get the light to go on. That's where you come in, right? Well. For one of the things you just said, the fan's spinning the wrong way. They Some of the fans have a switch that'll, you know. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise or clockwise for the summer or the winter. So that could be a, a normal fan operation. But if it's humming, then there's typically a problem with a motor. And that can even come from the factory that way. We've seen numerous cases where a homeowner will have a new ceiling fan. We'll put it up for them and turn it on, and it'll hum or vibrate. And that could be something that's just a manufacturing defect. Okay, so a lot of times. But you definitely you want to get that replaced because you don't want that. Now, here's another thing people do. They end up saying, they hear me on the radio, and they go on and say, Adam, I bought all these new LED light fixtures, mm -hmm. and I have dimmers, and now every time the dimmers on yeah. it goes bzzz, yeah. because and it flicker. When, yeah, when you have LED lights, that are, some LEDs are not dimmable, so they're not going to function properly if they're on a dimmer. Also, the, the LED lights that are dimmable need a LED-compatible dimmer. So okay. now that you have your dimmable LED lights, you also need an LED-compatible dimmer. The other thing I'm seeing is the uh, the plugs that also have the USB charger built in. Oh, yeah. And that's pretty Very popular. convenient. Yeah. So if someone wanted to, like, you know, everyone today has a smartphone, a pa iPad, sure. a laptop, an Alexa, a Google, mm -hmm. uh, this or that, right, that's chargeable, you might want to go and upgrade some of these plugs. And they call you up and say, hey, I'm going to upgrade some plugs. Now, can you go buy them and bring them? Absolutely. Is it better that way or? Yeah, I don't recommend our clients buying any electrical products for themselves other than like light fixtures or something sure. that's kind of customizable. Um, if it's, we can pick everything up and supply it and put it in for you. You just tell us what you want and we'll, we'll get it and we'll install it. I actually have some of those USB outlets in our house. See, so the advantage is, is, like you said, everyone has their tablets and their devices to, to charge. You don't take up both outlet spaces with two chargers. Correct. You have two outlets and two USB chargers. Boom. So you can plug in two devices and still have, two you know, more. two plugs to, to use for anything else. And that's perfect. That's Absolutely. what I love to hear. So a uh, typical house has a 100-amp service, or is it? Typical, yeah, okay. for the for the ranches and, you know, maybe a smaller two-story, but, yeah. So homeowners popping breakers all the time. The kids are that's up one That's not necessarily here. because of their 100-amp service. If you just go change your panel, that's not going to alleviate whatever's causing your breakers to trip. Okay, so if they have that issue, though, they call you to solve it. Oh, yeah. Like okay. I said, anything electrical, flickering lights, buzzing sounds. Does it anything. make sense to go from 100 to 150, or is it uh, you should go from 100 to 200? Well, it, you can go to 150 if you're going to be, for instance, if you have a 100-amp panel and it's full. Yeah. 
and you're going to finish your basement or something or run a circuit for a hot tub or any kind of additional electrical right. load you have, you're going to want to upgrade your panel. And sure, you can go to a 150. Absolutely. You don't need to. What's the cost to upgrade? Proximate. For the, the easiest, most basic replacement for your panel would probably be from 100 amp. You can get you can actually get a larger size 100 amp, so you can keep the same. That anywhere from like 900 to 1100 well, for, for a 100 amp. Not a bad deal. No, not at all. Okay, especially so, for the safety and the convenience of extra circuits. Because of the severe weather in Michigan, mm-hmm. we get a lot of that, and you know the infrastructure is getting old. Sure, people get power outages on a regular basis. Absolutely, and they go crazy. They want to blame DTE, but you know, listen, it is what it is. Yeah. Standby power. Or a generator. Sir. You guys do a ton of those. We did one yesterday. So is there a brand that you recommend, or is it just because, you know, a lot of times people just go to a big box store and they see Generac and they run and get it, and then they say, oh, we got to have a guy install it. Or can you get you recommend a brand to them? Well, we use Generac because our supplier gives us free delivery, and we get it delivered right to where the you want actual it. site. If you order a generator online or wherever, yeah. they're going to ship it. They're going to drop it off at the end of your driveway, and you have an 800-pound behemoth in your driveway that you have to move to wherever it's going to be installed at. That's so crazy. we use Generac because our supplier does, and like I said, they deliver it right See, to the site. That actually is a plus. I didn't realize that. Yep. We're talking with Josh Young. He's a master electrician, licensed, insured, and he's actually a good guy. Uh, the name of the company is Voltron that's, that's Power. Debatable. <laughs> debatable. <laughs> the name of the company is Voltron Power. Uh, VoltronPower.com. I kind of love that. Um, you do generators. What's an average generator? Do you actually, well, if a homeowner wants a generator, they call you, come out and size it yeah, for them? Yeah, we have to assess their electrical demand of their house before we can recommend a generator size. We did a 16KW Generac yesterday, and the homeowner had a gas furnace, mm-hmm. um, a gas dryer, and a gas range. So the only 220 that they had was their AC. So with a 16K generator, that's almost, you know, that's just under 70 amps. You can you can have your whole house be powered by that if you have, you know, okay. only one or two. But the size loads. of the generator is based on what you want. I want my refrigerator. I want my air conditioner. I want my recessed lights. I want everything. Right. I want the neighbor to be able to plug it. We basically look at the amount of two twenty appliances you have. Okay, have so that helps size the size. Of generator. Yeah, because that has the highest draw. I had a twenty five kW at my house, mm-hmm. liquid cooled. Oh yeah. Got hit by lightning. Good stuff. The generator did or yeah. the house did. The generator. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Kaboom. Uh, heck yeah. Right. Bam. It was a good generator, though. So, anyways, all right. So, in that, what about financing? Can you help people with that, or is it? Well, typically with that, um, we can offer payment installments. We don't okay. have any like, well, here you sign up for this credit program. We don't have any kind of credit programs like that. But we Got can it. work with clients where they can pay us in installments for the project. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, that's cool. So, what are the most common calls you go out on today? Well, the most common like service calls are, are anything from like, oh, well, our kitchen plugs aren't working, you know, our lights are flickering, or, oh, well, I, I, I changed this light fixture and now the light doesn't work, you know, just typical stuff like that. What about like people want spotlights on house that have the video cameras in them? Do you do any of that low oh, yeah, voltage we, stuff? We, well, you can get, um, you can get floodlights yeah. that have cameras built into them. That's what I have. Yeah. So, and we've, we've wired systems like that, you know, you run a wire to each one and. And it's can, not a big deal. I mean, it depends on your How home. busy are you? Really busy. We're usually booked for two weeks. So, I love that. Yeah, we have to, you know, a lot of people don't want to wait, especially if they're calling because they have a problem. We, we try to be flexible and have somebody available to take an emergency call like are that. Are you hiring? Oh, yeah. So with, the, with the right people, though, Adam. We have to know, have... Dr- valid driver's license, drug tested. Well, that's the basics. We need electricians that put quality and customer service at the forefront. If you're that's interested, folks, in someone that's really good to work with, give them a call or call Hire Done. We'll send them to you. Josh... Can you imagine? Time flies when you're having fun, right? It does. Especially Thanks for you, coming Adam. on, man. All right, Thank folks. You. Another great weekend. I'll be at the Buy Michigan Now Festival. Come out there in Northville. It opens at 10. I'll be there till 8 o'clock tonight. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to Hired Done on 97.1 The Ticket.